Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Signalis, a survival horror game developed by Rose Engine, published by Humble Games and is usually available for £16.74 slash $19.99 but it's included in Xbox Game Pass so you know what to do buddies, uh, uh, girl buddies. Okay, so normally this would take around 12 to 15 hours to complete but today's guide comes in the form of yet another debug menu found and i do have to give full credit here to lance mcdonald aka man fight dragon on twitter for originally finding the secret debug menu now as we know when devs find out that we found out that there's such a menu it does get taken away quite quickly and whether this one does who only knows but get on it now otherwise you'll face a grueling 10 plus hours doing this also, this can only be done on a PC Game Pass. Sadly, it doesn't work on consoles, even if you are, uh, even if you do plug in a keyboard, I'm afraid. So, get those PCs and those laptops firing. But of course, we will be skipping a whole chunk of game, easy boss kills, and all will be fun. So this time, we're looking at around 30 to 45 minutes to get it done. So, with that being said, then, let us begin. And one important thing I should tell you about, as we begin, uh, we will start off on this uh, setting. So we're going to go automatic reloading on, tech speed fast, and combat accessibility. Make sure to set it to survival. That is very important because we will complete the. You will need to complete the game with survival mode on. So it is highly important there to put survival mode on, and then uh, everything else will be pretty good. So what you can do as well, you can actually plug a controller in if you've got a wired controller or a play and charge kit controller, whatever. You can use a controller if you want. Um, that's what I ended up doing. I just found it a hell of a lot easier rather than the keyboards. So, uh, press B to skip any cutscenes, and then what we're going to do, we're going to go up, press the A button to interact with items as well. So, we're going to head down once we've climbed the ladder. Sorry, getting through that a bit quick. And now, this is the debug yum yum bit. So, you're going to press F7 on your keyboard, type in A-U-S-R-U-I-N-E-N, -E so that's Oz Ruin N, and then you're going to hit enter. And then what you're going to do is your character is going to be like, eh, sort of looks like she gets hit by absolutely nothing. I don't know what it is, but that's what you've got to do. Once you have put this in, um, obviously, then you can access the debug menu. And it should also be no it should also be noted that if you decide to uh, quit out of the game, you know, you go away and you come back later on, you will have to um, type in this uh, debug menu again. You'll have to type in Oz Ruin N again. And... Um, Put everything back in your inventory uh, like we're going to do later on. But if you plan to do it all in one run, you don't need to do that. So, there we go. After you've typed that in and she goes, eh, and gets hit by absolutely nothing, we are going to press F7 again. And what you'll see is just on the bottom left-hand corner there, like a little um, console type thing, you know. And what you're going to type in is give airlock key. So give a lock key. Now, when you see it in uh, grey, if you press the tab button, that will actually fill it out for you. Um, so if that's the one you want to go for, but once you type in give airlock key, you will receive the airlock key. We're going to go to the left and with the cursor, we are going to uh, interact with this console here a couple of times. Ooh, spooky consoles. Please don't hurt me. And then because we got the key card, uh, the airlock key card, we can press a button on it a couple of times and we are going to skip and hold the, um, cutscenes here again by pressing and holding the B button. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. This is Signalis. Wow, wasn't this just fantastic? Uh, again, God knows how long. Hopefully this debug menu will stay up here for a while. Uh, so what we're going to do now is press the A button. We're just going to keep mashing the A button to walk forward until we get to the next bit of sceneries. But uh, God damn, this looks cool. So, out of the snow and into the hole, that's what we want, apparently. Uh, so, there's a little hole here at the back, um, which again, you'll, you'll need to press the A button a couple of times here to skip through the dialogue and get through the hole. Uh, it can be a bit finicky sometimes, so if it's not working, well, just try longer. 
Um, and then we're going to keep mashing the A button again. So pop the cursor down to the hole. Tell you what this, this looks like. <laughs> we look like the baby. And looks like we're just about to be birthed right here. Wah! Oh, god damn, this is a great birthing thing. Right, with the right stick, move it down to the book, and we are going to pick up this ancient-looking tomb, the King in Yellow. Which uh, is worth, it's probably an interesting read, I assume. Anyway, what will happen here, you will get your first achievement, and Capital One Synchronizidatatat. And yes, I will butcher the German language, because I can barely speak English, so, um, I, <laughs> yeah, so apologies for any Germans who are watching, and I've just butchered that. Anyway... So, you will get your first achievement. Now what we're going to do is press F7 once again to go into the debug menu. And we're going to type in bag space 300. So that's bag space 300, which will put your inventory size to 300, which we will need. And we're going to go back into F7, so go back into the debugging menu once more. And then we're going to type in give space all. So that's give space all, and that will give us everything that we ever could possibly want except money fame and riches but all um but but in terms of uh, items and everything in the game that's what we do get again it could have just given me a million pounds and we could have just left this godforsaken place but that's fine right so f7 again and type in go to space whole space classroom go to whole classroom and you're going to see a big hole in front of us press the a button a couple of times here and we are going to drop down this D lovely looking hole, of course, because that's what you'd normally do, right? <laughs> Wrong. Okay, once we are here, go into your debug menu again and type in go to space elevator space lobby. So go to elevator lobby. Make sure to not go to the elevator because it'll everything will go dark and it will soft lock you out of the game. So once you are in the elevator lobby, press the left button, the one where it says A. Hey, dog! And then we can eventually go in. Uh, we are going to get an achievement here eventually, but have a look at the left-hand side panel. Um, putting the blank key or the ID card in here, the identification card. And we use the identification card. And now we're going to click on the number three button, which is Krankergluvlalala. And press the blue button at the top. I will try not to butcher this. Anyway, a couple of scenes are going to happen, and then we will also get the Beschlagnamt achievement. <laughs> I really am sorry. Uh, but anyway, that'll be your second achievement of the game for losing something of no value. Basically, the ID card gets swallowed, and Beschlagnamt... Uh, uh, I think I'm going to be really good at German. And as it turns out, no. Right, so uh, try to click on it again. This is where it will unlock anyway. And that is just a damn shame. Then we can press the B button here to back out. And we can just turn to the left and press the A button to go into the ominous looking outsideness. So we are on floor three. So go into your debug menu again and type in go to space back space office. So go to back office, not offiv or coffviv, Donald Trump style. So uh, have a look at the monitor here anyway when we are in the back. Now what you're going to do, you see the, the monitor looking thing on the right? Use the blank key with it. It's not a monitor. It's a blank key card machine thing. And then we have to do a little puzzle. So uh, uh, press the A button here on the define pattern, which would be the left-hand side one, of course. And then go up to the left-hand side and then go. When you press A, then we're going to go right, down, right, up, down, down, right, up. And then we can print that pattern. So make sure to choose print pattern. And then we can pick up the blank key. And then go to Casablanca with the blank key. Um, and that's all the uh, words I've got for blanking. And anyway, once you pick that up, press the B button to back out. And from here, we can go into the debug menu. Go to space waiting space room. So go to waiting room. And then here, if we have a look at the door in the back, now because of course we have everything in our inventory, you can just interact with all five slots and stick the slot where the sun don't shine and enjoy your life and get the hell on through here.
Okay, so when we are through, we're gonna head to the left here and go up to see the red monitor. So this is where you would basically save your game, of course, if you were playing normally, which <laughs> of course we're not. We are going to save it, purely because there are two achievements here for dying once and for dying 16 times, which we are going to get now. So once that is saved, head, head down, and uh, well, there's only one thing left to do. We're gonna skip and hold the, uh, skip the cutscene, and this is our first boss here, Maya. Maya butt reeks. Um, Maya face hurts, apparently. So once we have skipped the cutscene, all you're gonna do is let Maya butt reeks here just uh, kill you dead. Doesn't matter what you can do, you can just stand there. And that will get you the, here we go. This will get you the Shwera Osna Mephila achievement. That is for dying once. And so when this happens, you will get that specific achievement for dying the first time. So we can press any key and we should now have a continue button. So again, make sure to not press the begin button. Uh, there is no begin button, so just choose the continue button. And it'll obviously come up with the first one, hospital surgery. And then you will just go down once again and just do the same thing. And again, you'll have to do this a total of 16 times to get the locker achievement. Lo locker. Um... Sorry, I'm just embarrassing myself trying to uh, pronounce these now, aren't I? But the looker, which again, I, I assume that a lot of you will tell me how to pronounce stuff properly. Uh, but after you've done it 16 times, you will get that specific achievement right there. Uh, of course, I'm not going to show you all 16 times because that takes around 5 or 10 minutes extra or so. So I was just showing you what to do there. But once you, you can obviously, obviously it's better to do it now. So pause the video now, get that achievement, and then we can crack on. So once you have died 16 times and got the low care achievement, we're going to type in Kami. So press F7 and type in Kami. This is basically God mode, so which means, of course, we cannot die, which uh, comes in mega handy, especially in, well, just everyday life, doesn't it? So to kill Maya butt reeks, what we're going to do is press F7 and type in kill, and that will kill the reekiest of butt of Mayas. I know the, uh, its name is Myra, but, you know, the joke doesn't work with Myra Buttricks, does it? So, uh, once that is done, uh, a little, again, a couple of cutscenes we're going to smash through here. And then you will also get the Abvorts achievement for basically beating the first boss. And that, that'll do, that'll do. Right, so when we get into this new scene, turn directly around. Press the A button here on the double doors to get out. Turn to the left and then turn to the left again to find another cutscene, which we can skip a Rooney. So after all the fun of monsters and, you know, not actually seeing any, um, we are going to end up here on floor five and then we're going to press F7 once again. And we're going to go to, so type in go to space mineshaft space access. So go to mineshaft access. And then what you're going to do is have a look at this shutter, press the A button on it. And when we use the administrator's key here, Alder's key, we will get the liminalitat achievement. And again, interact with the door, and this basically ends chapter one. And like I said, we will get the liminalitat achievement. Did I say that right? Who knows? But anyway, this is for using Alda's uh, keycard and ending this particular uh, chapter. So on to chapter two, liminalitat. Liminalitat. Again, skipping cutscenes as we go, as we have been so far. And just, well, sort of get to the end for the moment. Oh, here we are at the end. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Right, once we're here, F7 once again, and we're going to press go to space the space hole. So go to the hole, and you will end up next right next to this hole, which we're going to jump down. Um, if, if you're peed off with me saying hole, well, I'm sorry, we've got a few more holes to uh, dive into and uh, have a little search around, as long as the hole's not... Uh, it's sort of too hairy, so we can't see where we're going. Uh, mm, <laughs> I'm just joking. So, for this bit, what it wants you to do now is basically go exploring. But what we are actually going to do is sit still for about two minutes. Because uh, if you go exploring, it basically takes the full five minutes. But if we just stop and don't do anything, uh, it'll only take about two to two and a half minutes. So, I will leave it on screen for you for the next minute or two. And then I will rejoin you with the old commentary in just a mo. 
Mr. Mo. That was the countdown clock, and we have countdown finish. So, what we're going to do now is going to kill the second boss. So, F7, we're going to go to space hole. So, go to hole. And, of course, this is an even ominous, more-looking hole. We're jumping down, and we are going to beat um, the second boss. So, when we get here, once again, F7, kill. Oh, you hit me, you son of a god damn it. So, uh, of course, F7 and kill. And throughout the entire boss fight of absolutely nothing there, our friend Ira, or Isa, or whatever her name is, uh, she shot the gun and knocked herself unconscious. <laughs> I mean, you know, good job, but that's pretty unlucky. So what we're going to do is get another two achievements here, and that is exactly what we're going to do. So interact with Isa's unconscious body, and you will use the small bottle on her. She will actually wake up. Uh, so what you can do, if she doesn't wake up, go to the right here and then go back to the left. But if she does wake up, that is fine. Um, also, remember what I said earlier? So as long as Ice has sat up, that's all good. Now remember what I said earlier about if you've uh, quit the game for whatever reason, you need to go back into it. Make sure to give all to get your inventory back. And then we're going to type in remove revolver. So we need two specific weapon achievements. And this is the only way to do this. So... F7, and then we're going to remove revolver, and F7 again, remove rifle. So we need the revolver and the rifle gone. Once the, and I'll say it again, the revolver and the rifle have gone, go into your inventory by pressing the select button, quote-unquote the select button with the two squares. Go all the way to the right until we find a hunter key. Now, it's a specific key in a specific gun case that we need to find. It's not the service key. No, no, but it is a little later on. There it is. So press the A button and then press combine to combine the hunter's key with. And if we keep going all the way to the right, we will eventually find the gun case. So uh, it may take a while, so just keep going. But again, uh, the gun case should appear right about... Okay, there it is, the gun case. That is the, the gun case, the weapon case. Once that unlocks, you will get the revolver with the uh, sight on it, which is all good. That will get you the Einhorn achievement. Einhorn? Lois Einhorn, Ace Ventura? Uh, yeah, everyone's seen it. That will get you the Einhorn achievement. And once you have woken up Isis, oh, Isa, sorry, um, speak to her. Again, it may be a little bit uh, fidgety right here, um, but as soon as you get... Oh, it is Isa. Uh, once you speak to her, then you can pick up the rifle, and that will get you the Nitro achievement, which is a nice gift for us. So once you have both of those achievements, what we can do is now go to, so F7, and then go to Space Tree. So go to Space Tree. Apparently I can't spell tree at all. And then have a look at the door here on the back, and what we can do, it's not a puzzle, we can just fill every hole with our plates of everything. Wow, aren't we just the uh, <laughs> aren't we just the saviors of the lifetime of nah? 
So anyway, once that is done, we can head through. And what we're going to do is head to the left right here. And this is basically the bad ending. So this is Das Ende. For some reason, I can see a whole bunch of Rammstein lyrics in here. I got Rammstein going on in my head right now. And god damn, what a band. Anyway, uh, we're going to skip all the cutscenes. But this will get you the Das Ende achievement. I was going to sing some Rammstein then. And then I realized I sound like a tool. So let's not do that. So... Now, this has tricked many a people. What this does, if you get this ending, it looks like you have to replay the game from the beginning, but this is not it at all. So we're still in chapter three. We're still in the final chapter. So you're not beginning the game again, even though it says and it looks like it is right now. So once we press begin, we're going to go up and we're going to go up the ladder again. Again, reminder, we're still in chapter three. We're not starting from the beginning. Head down through the door, and then this time we're going to head straight down through the door again. And then what you need to do then is interact with the console. So press uh, the A button a couple of times here, and you just need to interact with the console until the dialogue has appeared. All's looking normal, which is what we need and what we want in life. So press the B button to back out a couple of times. And this time we're going to head straight up. Oh! And now we're going to go right. So go to do the right door. And on the back wall here, we're going to inspect Penrose 512. And keep pressing A there until the dialogue uh, appears. Uh, there we go. Once or twice, doesn't matter as long as the dialogue's appeared at least once. Now we can back out, head back out to the left. And we can go through the left door again. The old Peni Rose. And then from here, we're going up. And then we go into the left to inspect the reactor. As again, as long as the dialogues come up at least once, that's good. And we can head to the right. Man, it's all kicking off. Head up once again. And then we can interact with the left-hand side monitors or medical emergency things. So again, make sure to inspect that at least once and head back down. And from here, we go into the right. And then a little cutscene is going to happen. Now, we had to do that... Um, Basically, in order to get this sort of darker mode going on. By the way, you would have also got the Gestaltzerfall achievement as well by now. So head up once we get in here. And there's going to be like a beating heart or some kind of shart or some kind of fart. I don't know. Now we've turned into this thing, which we can head straight down. And head down again. And this time, we got to keep going, so keep spamming the A button there a couple of times, and we're going to keep going to jump down. So basically, we're now coming up to the, more or less, the end boss. We've got a couple of things to do. Um, now, if you remember earlier, we had to stay outside for five minutes, or we had to wait for five minutes while we were in the cave. Now we're on the outside of the cave, and in the distance, you could probably see a little, just a little blinkering of a red light. So um, head towards it. Automatic cutscene, press the B button to skip the cutscene, and game continues. Alright, now some more spooky stuff's happening, and of course we're going to bypass all the spooky stuff, which is great for me because I am an absolute wet wipe when it comes to survival horrors. So now we're going to go to whole classroom. So again, go to space, whole, space, classroom, go to the space hole, drop down, <laughs> drop down safely, yeah, why not? Because it's gone right for us so far, hasn't it? So, uh, after this bit, once again, we can skip this cutscene. And we're going to give all. So when, when we're here then, uh, all our inventory has basically been wiped from us. So before inspecting the back wall, go to give all. And then what we can do is it's just a little puzzle. So with the left-hand side one, what you need to do is keep clicking the A button until the blue kind of circle thing is um, in a specific spot. So for this one, what we need is for the blue circle to be out of the first one. Uh, the top left corner of the second one... Uh, the top right corner of the third one, Kitch. 
and we'll just ignore that, sorry. Um, with the rat front, uh, we're going to use the dial ring again, which we should have because we've just put all our inventory back. Make sure it's a full circle with the second to last one, top left hand corner, and when then with the final one, uh, it's the sort of bottom left hand corner, if you will. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing here. So that is how that should look once that opens up. We are going to be birthing once again. It's a baby. It's a baby. Oh my god, it's a monstrosity. And then, which they said to me when I was born, which I thought was a bit harsh, but there we go. So pick up the king in yellow anyway. We're going to come to this scene. Head to the left. And now this is the door. This is basically the final room of the game before we fight the final boss. Now, the final boss looks like he could be a son of a git. Uh, you can save, of course, here if you so wish. Um, but otherwise, we're all good to go. We can just go up through the door and begin the final boss fight. Now, again, like I said, this <laughs> boss, um, yeah, I'm kind of glad they, I hope that this debug menu uh, stays on because for anyone like me that doesn't really, like, I wouldn't personally have played this game um, legit, purely because I'm not very good at survival horrors or anything like that. Um, and I know there's plenty of people out there. I suck at these personally, so I'm glad they've kept this in. I hope they do keep it in. So as soon as we begin, we'll press the start button. Um, we will uh, click F7, and then we're going to give all once again. So we'll get all our inventory back, which are our two guns, which of course we were missing earlier. And then type, make sure that Kami mode is still switched on. It should always be switched on anyway, but I just had a double check there. So make sure that Kami mode, God mode, is switched on. And finally, what we're going to do is type in Lawn Mower. And what that is, is Infinite Ammo, which of course comes in handy. Um... And of course, because we turned um, automatic reload on in the settings, you don't have to keep going to your inventory to keep reloading, which of course is just a pain in the old butt snatch. So go into your inventory and use your submachine gun, equip that. And there are like, kind of like five or six phases of this boss. So press the uh, left trigger and then right trigger to shoot. When you see the, and then when it's down on the floor, press the A button to stab it and it'll go into the next phase. So when you see the red square on him, that means you are shooting it. When it's uh, got a red square with an X through it, of course, that means that you're not hitting it for whatever particular reason, whether it's behind some uh, some goddamn thing. So what will happen now in each phase is, if you, especially this one, so if you start heading down, you can't just keep shooting it. When you start heading down into a proper location, some spears will fall down. So we're going to pick up the spear, any spear, keep shooting it until it falls down, and then go up to it, and when it's got that, like, red hologram thing around it, then you press the A button to stab it. Now it's going to start shooting holo hologram things at you, or some black holes. I don't want to be sucked off by a black hole. Not today, Satan. So pick up the spear, and again, do that thing where you shoot, shoot, shoot. And then eventually it will fall to its knees, and not in a good way. And then, of course, we are going to stab the nuts out of it. This is where it does get decidedly tricky. It puts itself into a dark corner. So make sure, to, again, to pick up a, sp a spear. It puts itself into a, the top right-hand corner, dark corner. And it has these floating defense, or floating stones or whatever. So just do the thing we've been doing constantly. It just keeps shooting it. Of course, we've got God Mode on, so it doesn't matter. You're not going to die. But yeah, this would, uh, yeah, this would suck for me, personally. Because I would not be able to beat this bra. And then once it's down, we will uh, kill it, stab it. But again, we've got a couple more phases left, as it were. So a couple more of these, I mean, I don't even know what the hell these enemies are. It looks like they've had a hell of a leg session, in all fairness. Just limping home, like, give me the protein powder, god damn it. Uh, but again, you're just going to do the same thing. Um, so just keep shooting at the boss until a bunch of spears drop down, and then do the thing that we've been doing so far.
And this will be the final one then. So the screen's going nuts. Um, it, the thing has put itself right up into the top right hand corner. Shooting all types of crap at you. Defense is everywhere. So it's a bit tricky. But you know the drill. Because we've got God Mode on. <laughs> Devs, please keep this debug menu. Oh, lots more people will play the game, I swear. Grab the spear. Shoot it dead. And that should get you the final three remaining achievements. Ta-da! There it is. So what I actually done here was turn God Mode off. Now I know in some games, sometimes, if you leave God Mode on, then uh, it may mess up one of the achievements. So just to be on the safe side here, we're going to turn God Mode off. And to finish the game then, we're not quite finished, we've got like a little bit of walking to do. Um, once again, my face fell off. Ah, oh, god damn it. Adler. 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 Why am I taking so long? Come in. Alright, there we go. Sorry, I don't know what was happening then. So, when we are here then, after that incredible, incredulous battle, go up. Through the door, go left through the next door, and then head up through the last door, and then head up through the, uh, no, right, sorry, right this time, and then head up through the last door. So I was two doors away. So we're going home, and then after this then, what you should get now is the Versprechen achievement, the Achtung achievement, and the Überleben achievement. Überleben. And that is for basically finishing the game um, finishing the game on survival mode and obtaining all achievements. So there we go then, guys and gals. Another beautiful debug menu found. Again, devs, you can keep this in if you want. Um, but anyway, like I said, get on it while, <laughs> while it's there. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope that you enjoyed the game, dish, and the, uh, hopefully the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon, and I shall see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. B -b 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 big love, homies and homies.